and welcome to another brand new episode of I am Mongolian. In today's episode, we have a special guest, a Mongolian teenage girl who brings a wealth of experience in the realm of social activities. Meet Namong Nima, a 17-year-old who has been actively engaged in various social initiatives. She is a senior student at the Irtmiondra Complex School. Hello everyone, my name is Namo. Um, I'm 17 years old and I'm a student of Ertmiondra Complex School. Uh, now I'm a senior student. Uh, about my school, I wait for a long time debating competition because I really like debating. I have debated for years. And in other hand subjects, I really like society and metamethics. That's it about school, yeah. Um, in my experience about social activities and programs, I founded Kamlyan's Voluntary Club in 2018 and I graduate of Teen Parliament Program and also I graduate GCL program that was implemented by Zerg Foundation and I am president of Capital Children's Council. I mainly work as young voice and the legation of children and young people and try to show the importance of children's participation in the shaping the good of society. Particularly sustainable development and children's rights, human rights, yeah. Oh, of course, I have a lot of memories and a lot of experiences. Currently, I work as organizer at Mongolian Children Council's camping for four days. Eight in these activist children from every province and district came to meet each other and they exchange good experience and they become a friends. It was very interesting and taught me life skills while creating a lot of experiences and memories. The first time I got inspiration was when I was sixth grade. I was doing organizer of the One Garbage, One Candy campaign. The goal of campaign was to create cultural city and try inspired by the young people's understanding that even small contributions are needed in everything. The results of the campaign, I understood the importance of our contributions for society, for our country. Our country is young country. According to the research, one out of uh, every three people is young people or teenager or children. Therefore, for the development of the society, our participation is critical part. Yeah and also social activities and good deeds make more human and more open-minded individuals. Grows our hard and soft skill change our mind. Even though I was very shy and short girl in elementary school, social activity has helped me a lot to create myself today. Although she is a very socially active teenage girl, she is also about to start a new chapter in her journey as she prepares to release her own book on September 8. Today, we'll dive into her inspiring story, her passion for making a difference, and her upcoming venture into the world of writing. Thanks, as for me, I have always loved books since I was a child, and I was an avid reader of fiction and poetry. That's why my book is composed entirely of poems and with a little continuous prose. Of course, books are a valuable tool in human life. The importance of reading are helps you learn new things, go on an adventure without leaving your house. For me, the important things in about my book is to give people a lot of different feelings and to travel another world in a short time. I think that maybe if you read my book, it will give you the feeling of your soulmate or friend. 
Of course, time management is so important thing for everyone. Scheduling is very important to me as well. I start with the most urgent tasks and I make to-do list and schedule for my work day, especially on the weekends. However, there is a lot of problem of not having time to do educate, writing and social activities. So I'm still learning about it. About in free time, I prefer to be more comfortable and try to interesting new things. My favorite author is Ulzitux. I started thinking about writing book after I finished reading her book called Utsinheta. The book contains stories with a very deep meanings and such as high school law, the meaning of life, death and human life. Yeah, I was really like her books. For me, I haven't chosen my future profession yet. Now I'm still looking for it, it suits me. Of course, every people wants financial freedom and stable family relationship and plans for a future full of adventure and travel. I'm same too, so I don't want to be tied down by 8 hours of work. Uh, after 10 years, I want to be a person who is known by her profession and her skills, her ability. Besides developing myself, I want to be a role model for others and support children and young people. On the other hand, I envision my future as an independent woman who is free, can travel whenever she wants and takes great care of her mental health and her physical health. Yeah. My favorite word is one child, one pen, one teacher, one book can change the world. Malala said this word. This word makes sense every people participation are important in the world. First of all, I want to say believe in yourself. When no one believes in you and you don't know you can do it, it's important to motivate yourself and take action. Always be yourself, express yourself, have faith in yourself. Don't go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate it. Well, this is where this episode of I'm Mongolian comes to an end. Today, we had the chance to meet a teenage girl who is interested in volunteering and poetry. Our guest reminded us that age is no barrier towards making a positive impact. Her dedication to a social causes and her determination to write her own book serve as an inspiration to all, regardless of our age. We extend our best wishes to Namo on her book launch and we are looking forward to seeing her continued success in both her social endeavors as well as her literary pursuits. Thank you for being with us. We we'll look forward to seeing our audience again in the next episode.